Filthy, filthy, filthies. Deep, deep, deep. There we go. Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful evening here in the Florida Keys. Lookity, lookity, lookity. Very nice. Unfortunately, I'm out here really late. I had a flat tire in my car, so I had to get that fixed. It's around three o'clock now, so it gives me about two and a half hours to catch something. Um, lucky enough to pick up some pilchards at the boat launch. One and done, so that's good there. Uh, met a couple of my viewers from Ohio there, so they were chasing bait, so that's good to see. Pilchards are still waiting there for anybody that wants them. Uh, so the plan is to catch something real fast. I'm gonna swing by my snook spot, see if those guys are hanging around. Uh, try to be stealthy and put some effort into it, try to catch one, and then head out to the channel and uh, see if I can get a zero mackerel or something uh, since I missed out on those yesterday. So that's the plan. Quick and easy. Get in, get out. It's perfect conditions for this. I've got the sun to my back. Uh, there's enough current that it's cleaning out all the uh, mullets. You know, it's all, the whole thing is mullet there, as you can see. So they're turning it up, but the water's getting cleared out. Then I'm just going to kind of slowly pedal, paddle, and looking for forms in the water along the edges and in the sand. Because they'll come out and kind of sun themselves. I just need one. Okay, no luck with the uh, snooky boys. So coming out here to use my pilchards and see if I could convert them into some mackerels. Looking for some ceros in Spanish. Uh, gonna go a little stealth rig. Uh, one aught live bait hook there. About uh, five inches of wire. This is some um, number two, which is about 27 pound. 20 pound leader. And then I'm just gonna nose hook a pilchard. Slow trolling behind the boat and see if we can get one of those guys. Uh, the thing with these cereals is that they could be very, very finicky. Uh, a lot of times I'll see them running up to the bait. They'll eyeball it, take off. They'll come up, bump it, not take it, just bump it, take off, come back and eyeball it, bite the tail, take off. And then it's just a, like a game to them, but they're just very, very suspicious of it. They're super fast, so they could just run in, run out, run in, run out. So um, sometimes you gotta go real stealthy, go as small as you can on everything, and uh, see if you can fool them. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Oh, something's playing with it. Playing with it, playing with it. Must not be very big. Oh, there we go. There it is. Set that hook. What do we got? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, uh-oh. This got a little bit more shoulders than I thought. Feeling more and more jackish though. Senior Jack. Yep. Jack. Good Jack. Stop. Bam. Yeah, you got busted. Now, if you're gonna be chasing the toothy critters, this is gonna happen a lot. It's gonna get all spaghettied up and you're not gonna be able to straighten it no matter what you do. But there is this. It's a cool tool, it's a wire straightener. And what it does is straighten that out for you. You just hold it and then run the wire through it. Do it a couple times and bam, it's 
back to being somewhat straight again. Puts a bunch of little riffles in it and that kind of what straightens it out. And you can go back to fishing because it takes a lot of time to kind of rig those wires. So it's good to have these. I just think I'd come over here and throw a few baits around the mangroves, but I forgot the no see are like insane. I'm just gonna drop a couple and then get the heck out of here. Oh, there's a Goliath right there. Right there. Oh, oh, oh. Don't go, don't go, buddy. Oh, did he get it? <laughs> oh man, I spooked him. Maybe he'll come back out. Oh, there he is. Right there. Black body there. This is going to be a tough fight if he does take it. Oh, spooked him again. What the heck? Dang, no see -ums. Oh, shark, big shark. Man, what's going on here? Maybe that's what was scaring him. Look at this guy. Woohoo. Dang. I think that's him there. Yeah, that's him there. Right in the front of his face. Oh, did he get it? See him right there, that dark spot. Oh, oh, I did have him. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh no, oh no. Come on out. Oh, I still got him. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Oh, he's getting way in there. You gotta come out the same way, buddy. Oh, I got him out. No, well, he's not quite out, but. There he goes. I got him out. Oh, no. Look at him. I got him out. <laughs> hey. Oh, he is like not happy. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's insane. No, no, no. Get on this side. But I really don't want you on this side. I want you out of here. My rods don't get stuck. I want to pedal them out of here. Oh. Man, I hope that big old shark don't come by. I don't want you to get eaten. Yeah. Hey. Awesome. Man, the noceums are oh, eating me alive. I'm gonna jump in the water here. Oh, yes. All right, buddy. You've been pilcherized. Get under me there. <laughs> you can't go anywhere. Come on. Don't break off the jig head. I want it back. Oh, that was like super lucky. Such beautiful coloration on these fish. I'm gonna be gentle, just be relaxed. I know you're going to clamp down. I know. Just relax. Just let me do what I need to do. I just want to let you go. And so you can grow up to be the size of a car. The size of my Civic. Alright. We'll use this hooker, man. Ready, buddy? Y'all good?
you're free. Success! Well, that Goliath grouper was a big bonus. <laughs> Forget the snook. But man, the noceums are just horrible when you get in those spots without any breeze. Man, they just ate me alive. I didn't have a chance to cover up or anything. I got bit all over. So we're back in the shark channel. Looks like I got about a half an hour left of sunlight. Uh, I thought the, um, the current was supposed to reverse before sunset, but it just might slowly be doing that. So we're just going to hang out in the channel, see what happens, see what we can come up with, and get all itchy. Golly, man, I think I'm digging out those no seams in my scalp. Ugh. All right, sunset Hail Mary time. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Come out and play. Oh. <laughs> Look at that bend. Holy macros. Ugh, stay on, baby. Hail Mary fish. Don't be a jack. Ah, oh, mutton. Nothing but a mutton. That would be my Hail Mary fish. Man, it hit hard. <sighs> nice, beautiful red. Look at that tail. Man, look at the color on that guy. Sunset, whoa. Alrighty, you can go free. Just got it. I think something's playing with it. There we go. Ah, little guy. Ah, angry little yellow tail. <laughs> well, different species at least. Not what I was hoping for. Well, there's my Hail Mary fish, a yellow tail snapper. Something was hitting it. Oh, take it. Take it. Oh, didn't take it. That took it. There we go. That got him. Well, we got. What is that? And a mangrove to round it off. Nice. Snapper slam. Mutton, mangrove, yellowtail. Bam! Sunset mangrove. Basically what's happening even more so than the uh, magic hour is that the tide finally switched and it's going out. And that's like the dinner bell for the fish when they feel that current being pushed that way. So all that food from all the flats, the mangroves is getting flushed out to them. So they're starting to move up. There we go. Gotcha little something all right this will be my last fish before I go what do we got something something and another mangrove all right let's get out of here all righty calling it an evening have a nice fire sunset going there 
but the uh, bites finally started kicking on on the channel because that outgoing tide makes so much difference but uh, even without it a bucket full of pilchards will solve your problems got very lucky with that glass grouper so that really saved the day but otherwise very productive for my three hour tour so anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you next video bye